the idea when developing an application that implements the asynchronous method pattern is writing code that executes very fast and leaves part of its um, responsibility, part of the um, action it should perform to other code invoked asynchronously. In this code sample, for example, we have the simple handle. The simple handle, when calling read a synchronous method, we get the current thread blocked, while if we call the begin read, then the actual read is executed in an asynchronous way in another thread concurrently with the current thread. That, that's why this code executes much faster than this one. Calling the begin read executes pretty fast and the synchronous execution continues while concurrently we have code that performs the reading itself and once complete it invokes the other method I pass over as an argument to begin read. Therefore, a read callback is a function that is executed um, concurrently with um, the uh, asynchronous under method. Read callback is being invoked um, just as soon as the re reading completes the reading that is executed concurrently. Then, here we can see another um, uh, sample for uh, an asynchronous method usage. Here, instead of calling the write method, I call the begin write, which means that begin write executes pretty fast, so the read callback finish pretty fast and the outcome of calling begin write is um, a, a, a new execution that happens concurrently through which the writing takes place. So um, eventually the server is free to handle a bigger number of uh, clients at the same time, while its CPU um, potential is effectively exploited, unlike what happens when we just work in a synchronous way.